<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Right. afternoon I've had a disaster with a machine with the beer pouring out and I've just thought well I've got the top I probably won't get refunded again so I might as well just review it um, guys out 5.2% wheat beer oh I look too dark now hold on hold on I'm having one of them days you know people um, here we go let's get you forward there's only me here there's a little beer over the floor they're all down the side, but in all due honesty, it don't look bad, you know. And this is the new Belgian wheat beer, as I say, called Grisette. Well, it's not new, and it's brewed by St. Fillion's. As I said, if you watch part one of this, it shows a complete disaster that I'm having here, and it's mad. Anyway, let's have a go. Oh, he's not leaking out again, is he? It's got that typical... Wheat beer smell. It's fruity. Do you know what? This could be good. Um, it's got your, your your cloves, your coriander, orange peel. It's got it's got that citrusy lemon zest. It's got something like like apples. I wish I had Michelle here to. It's like apples. Out of that, that's good. It's a lovely, um, oh, how can I put it? Um, like a, a, a wheaty malt. It was only slightly there in the nose, but it is absolutely. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's got some depth to it. It's creamy, it's smooth, but it's it's definitely an apple. I know you're gonna think I'm crackers here, it's normally banana. But it's apple and it is bloody nice. That that is appealing. That is good. Um is it like Hogarth? A little bit? Is it like France kind of? No. Oh, do excuse the neighbours. Giving the giving the kid another slap. It happens regularly. Um, as I say, it's um, this is good. I'm impressed with this. Um, I'm shocked. I have a nightmare with that machine. Just it all flowed out. I've kept the video separate. In case you don't want to get lumbered watching me having one for four minutes. But you've got your orange. But it's definitely apple. And it's really smooth. Well, I said earlier, it's creamy. It's smooth. And it... This is good. Um, I've lost most faith with sub lately. Because they haven't done me a lot of favours. A lot of the beer's been overpriced and poor. I think this was twelve ninety nine. That's still a lot, but not that much. Oh, it's coming out again. If it, if they got it right, this is a good beer. As I say, it's. I just can't. Yeah, it's definitely apple. Yeah, that's quality. That's quality. Um, as I say, you can see the machines all. It's been a nightmare, but this 
this is good. This is, I rate my beer, solid eight. Um, as I say, this is good. Um, I don't think it's as good as Paulana Bison or Idlevice, but this is good. It's a lovely alternative. Um, 12.99, yeah, and I think it's about the same as Paulana. Idlevice is a little bit cheaper, but this is good, as I say. It's a solid eight. It's really got some go to it. I mean, I'm drinking out of a, was almost drinking out of a Cronenberg Blanc glass. It's, it's got hints of that as well. Um, definitely. Um, this is the best thing they've brought out, yeah, probably since Paulina, in my opinion. I say the talk just peed out, because if you watch the first video, as I said, I'll separate them. But, um, yeah, fantastic. Eight out of ten. Rate my beer all day long. Thanks for watching, people. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and anything else you want. Oh, bonjour.